Hi everybody, my name is John, and in this video we're going to learn how to connect and integrate MailChimp with a WordPress account. In order to do so, you need to have not only a MailChimp account set up and ready to go, but also be an administrator in your WordPress website. Once you've logged in to both your website as an admin and you've logged in to MailChimp, you want to go on the left hand side to plugins and then click on add new. The plugin that we're going to be using is called MC4WP, which stands for MailChimp for WordPress. And we're going to go to the search plugins box and type in MC4WP and then press enter. Should be the top result, MC4WP, and then click on install now. Activate the plugin once it's installed. And then you should be taken to a page like this, which says the plugin has been activated. So on the left hand side, you'll notice that there's a new option, MCW4P. So let's click on MailChimp, and then it'll take, it, take us to this page right here. So in order to configure this plugin to work with your MailChimp account, you need to log into MailChimp, and then under your account, click on the drop down, and then click on account. In this account setting, click on extras and then API keys, and then scroll down to where it says you don't have any active API keys, and then click on where it says create a key. So now we have an API key that's been created. Do not share this API key with anyone. Copy the API key and go back to your WordPress website, and then paste the API key that you copied earlier into this field right here under API key. Then click on Save Changes. Now the settings have been saved. We still need to go and create the form that users will sign up for. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the left-hand side and click on Form. You can choose what MailChimp list the form will sign users up for by selecting the check mark next to the form you want subscribers to be added to. Since I only have one MailChimp list, this is my only option. I'm going to enter a title for my form and then click on Add New Form. So there's a bunch of different customization options that you can choose here. For the most part, there's a lot of uh, HTML code on the left-hand side that you can modify if you want to add or remove different items. So say, for example, you really wanted somebody to enter their first name and last name. You could fill out this information here, including a placeholder. So I would say, enter first name. And then you'll see once I add that, um, the text that I entered is available here and this is now available within the form when somebody fills it out. You can reorganize these different areas as well, doing something like that. Uh, and you can also click within this form code and add another field that way too. So for example, I already have a first name field. If I wanted to add a last name field right in between these two, I would just go at the end of the paragraph code right here click on last name, put in my placeholder, which is totally optional. And then I'd be able to add that to my form. And you can see on the right hand side, the form is previewed, what people will see on your website once they see it. I'm going to click on save changes, and my form will be saved. If you want to customize the message that someone receives when they sign up for your form, or if they enter an invalid email address or any other messages that show up on this form itself, you can go to the Messages tab and change any of these responses. There's also additional options under Settings and Appearance if you really want to customize your theme or your different styles for your forms as it appears on your website. I'm not going to go through each one of these, but each one of these options is available within the MC4WP section, under Form, under each one of these different tabs. So now how do we get this form that we've created to appear on our website? Well, there's a few other things we can do. The first thing you can do is you can copy the short code and then go to a page that you've already made or a page that you want to make. I'm just going to use the sample page for an example. So what I want to do is show you what this page looks like right now. You notice there is no MailChimp sign up. So if I wanted to have a sign up link at the bottom with my form, I would go back to the editor and I would scroll down to the bottom. Then I would add a new section, 
paste my MailChimp form ID, go back into preview, and you'll notice that my MailChimp form has now been embedded on my website at the bottom of the page. There's a few other ways that you can include this MailChimp signup form on your site. Another way you can do so is go back into your MailChimp admin settings. Once you're back in your admin settings, on the left hand side, there is the appearance section. You can click on customize. Now we're modifying the entire site and the structure of the site itself. So let's say for example that I wanted to have a MailChimp signup form at the bottom of my website, somewhere next to the About This Site or Find Us section. So in order to do so, I would go to Widgets, and then Footer 2. Uh, let's go to Footer 1 instead, actually. Then I would add a widget, and I would click here where it says MailChimp Signup Form. Then I can add a title, say Sign Up for mailing list and that will modify my sign up form on my footer. You can also reorder this if you want this to go above different elements on your page or if you want it to go on the right hand side in the find us section we just have to go back to the second footer and sometimes this depends on your theme where the footer icons are located and where these sections are formatted you'll just have to go into your theme settings and figure out which one is which. We can test to make sure that integration is working correctly by going to a page or a location on the site that we've embedded our MailChimp form and filling out the information here with legitimate information as well as a legitimate email address, which is different from the email address we use to sign up for our MailChimp account. So what I'm going to do is enter a first and last name, and then I'm going to enter an email address that I will be able to check and confirm the sign up. Once you do that, you have a notice at the bottom that says your sign up was successful. You'll then need to go into the email address of whatever you put here and confirm your subscription. And then once you do that, you'll be able to go to your MailChimp account and confirm that that user is signed up. To view this new user within MailChimp, go back to your MailChimp dashboard and then click on audience. And you'll see that the new subscriber has been added and they will be listed as a subscriber to your MailChimp account. Next to the email address that signed up, there's the source option. If this says API, that means your integration is working correctly. And that's it. If you want to go and make changes to your WordPress site as it relates to MailChimp or modify any of the settings that you configured, just go back into your admin settings and go to the left-hand sidebar, MCW4P. And there's a bunch of other options that are available here as well. If you want to see who has signed up or see any issues that people have had signing up, this debug log is gonna be very helpful for you. And that should be all. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do read each and every comment on these videos. Thanks, and I hope you have a nice day.